Hello guys, this is Jesus Fernandez and for this tutorial we are going to see how to make the ambient occlusion pass on a complex scene with Redshift. Some of you have been asking me for this tutorial, so here it is. But before, I want to thank you all for the support that you guys have been giving me here on the channel on my Patreon. We already reached the first milestone that it's the $100 and everyone it's taking great time there i have models free models the shader rule and like 14 more tutorials there for exclusive patrons for 10 dollars so you can check that out if you want and if you want to support the channel and to have more tutorials like this you can spread some love and maybe everything else that you want to go there so let's get back to the tutorial uh, for this tutorial, this is going to be the way to make it work, but just before the release of the custom viewport for Redshift. It's almost done, they say, the team is saying that it's almost done, so we have to wait for that, but before, this is the way to make it work. We are going to use Photoshop and Nuke for this tutorial. First, this is the basic scene, and if I go to the render settings and add my ambient occlusion pass and hit render, Let's wait for the time, I'm going to jump over. And if we look into the folder file, remember that we have two ways to make this work. And this is the project file, you have to save it to the project and look for the temp files to look for the actual render. If you saw the tutorial on the CDEP, you're going to find that we have no information here. And the same is going to happen in Nuke. So it's not working yet. To make it work, we need to add a redshift ambient occlusion and now how to use the redshift ambient occlusion node we have two ways to make this guy work the first way and the easy way to make it work is to create a new material redshift material and apply this material to the diffuse color and to select everything on the scene like all the models and apply this material to the model and render if we apply this material to our model we don't really need the information that we have for the beauty pass we need the information for the IO pass so the ambient occlusion pass and now I'm going to go to Photoshop again and open again the AO hit update okay and we have the information now as you can see everything looks red because the information is just on the red channel you can adjust the information here and if you change the information and the configuration of your model here, like still, let's say 10 then, let's render. And now we can see some shadows there. Let's reload this guy here, update, okay. And now we have the information. But if I go to open the if file, you can see that we don't have the information of color anymore. If you want to make the pass like that, you will have to render the sequence with a different material. If you want to use the same colors of this material, let's say that you want to have the same information of the color to apply that information and make the AO pass to have the information for the ambient occlusion. For that, you will need to do two different things. Let's start with the ones that has color texture. If you have color texture, you will need to select your color file and apply the ambient occlusion to the default color. That way I have applied, I've been applying this one to the first pass. Now I'm going to apply it to the default color of the other grass and the default color of the other grass and this cross also. I think I already did to the default color. So you need to apply everything to each color. This way it's going to read the color and it's going to work based on the color. Let's render for you to see. Now that I have the result, I'm going to go to Nuke to read my files, the AO, and to read also the information here. So I'm going to make this one on the one and this one on the second. So as you can see, I have the information here. And if I go to the red channel, I can see that we have also the information for the AO pass. So we have both informations, the color, and also we have the AO pass. Now, if you can see this one here, I don't have textures for the different colors, the metals or the base colors there. So for that ones, we will need to go to look for the material, let's say leaves, 
and we will need to take this ambient occlusion here and to duplicate the ambient occlusion look for the out color and apply to the diffuse color so we are going to change the diffuse color but we have a value there and that value we need to apply the value to the dark and the bright values here remember that the ambient occlusion is going to go and give us a red value let's say a float a black and white value so the color is not that important for this kind of configuration we have the same configuration for the other textures and we have the configuration here now that we have the color applied the beauty pass or the color pass it's going to read the color from the ambient occlusion break and dark and we are going to see the actual color and on the AU pass you can see as we will see in a moment now Nuke let's reload and let's reload this guy also so for the AO now we have the color information here as you can see and we also have the color information here so we have the actual color working and we have the AO pass working also right so let's try to jump to the other colors you can see also the same result here on Photoshop I will add the materials now For the glass, we will do the same process because with glass, we don't have actual color the way it is zero. But if you have color, you will have to redo the color and network to make this guy work. Now that we have everything, let's render and let's check. So everything is working. The scene is the same and we have the AO pass working. For us so this is the way to make the AO pass work it's going to work also with Photoshop and we hope to see the new viewport render for Redshift soon remember if you like the tutorials if you want more content like that go and support me on Patreon I take the money for Patreon and also I will add uh, Spanish subtitles to every video here and try to release more videos and tutorials thank you so much see ya